Right, well, today is the 19th of December. It is uh, almost uh, Christmas time. And I wanted to record a quick video just to say uh, a blessed Christmas to uh, all of the subscribers to uh, this vlog. It's not a lecture, just a thought. Uh, over Advent this year, we've uh, reflected in our uh, church community on uh, the themes of uh, hope and joy and love and peace. And uh, yeah, I, I wish you all of those things as uh, you enter into uh, the new year and pray that it's a wonderful and significant time for you and that uh, the Prince of Peace truly uh, lives within you and through you uh, to bring goodness into the world. There were three little thoughts uh, that struck me this Advent as I prepared for Christmas. The first is that, of course, Christmas is all about a person and that person's name is Jesus the Christ, uh, the Messiah, uh, the one who comes to rule, as Stanley Haava says, uh, not from a throne, but uh, from the cross. And I think if we can model ourselves on the person of Christ and, uh, and his uh, servanthood in the world, we could truly make the world a better place in a world that's obsessed uh, with authority and power. The second thing is, uh, is a place, so not only a person, Christ, but also a place. The fact that uh, Jesus, the King of the universe, uh, the King of kings and Lord of lords is born in a stable as a refugee, as someone who couldn't find place uh, in the normal uh, spaces in society and maybe you find yourself in that way maybe you don't quite fit in or there isn't enough space for you uh, in the community where you live you, maybe your identity uh, is squashed out or pressed into a small place well remember that the king of kings and lord of lords came to us in a stable and what's remarkable about that place is because it was a stable it was a place that was familiar and welcome uh, even to the night shepherds on uh, the last watch in the smallest town in the backwater of, uh, of Israel, they could find uh, an audience with the king. So it wasn't uh, first the Magi uh, and, uh, and the educated, uh, the highly regarded in society who found it, but those who felt welcome in a stable. And I think that we need to, to try and emulate that. We need to, to try and find people on the margins of society. And even if we ourselves are on the margins in small liminal spaces, Let's know that Christ is there and let's bring love in those places. So not only uh, the person of Christ the King, uh, not only the place of the crib, but I think the third thing that matters as we uh, prepare ourselves to celebrate the coming of Christ is that we need to remember that the baby who was born in the major died on a cross. And uh, so the, the Christ the person, the crib and the cross, uh, I think are three important things. And of course that cross is a reminder to us that uh, God himself lives sacrificially, that he offers himself as a person for others, uh, that he lives in such a way that it brings life uh, to those who are around him. So uh, may we find inspiration again today as uh, Christ is born anew in our midst. And uh, may we live in the way in which he lived as a person um, who is uh, the Messiah, who rules and reigns not from a throne but uh, who offers himself in humility from a cross and uh, those small spaces let's find people there let's bring blessing and joy the crib and then of course let's remember uh, that it was all about this cross the sacrifice of love that wins life for us and wins life for all humanity and let's live in that same sacrificial manner so blessings to you uh, to family to friends to the communities in which you live and work and uh, hopefully we'll uh, see a lot more of one another in the new year so remember this is not a lecture just a thought uh, wishing you a blessed christmas uh, this year as for me uh, today looks like a good beach weather so i think i'm going to uh, get my kids and uh, we'll head down to the beach this is the way to celebrate christmas in africa thanks for watching